Well, this is one of those few episodes that they actually set the tone at the very beginning of the episode where JP Morgan just goes out and literally explodes Scooter. <laughs> guys, this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now this time we're going to be looking into the 18th episode of the second season of The Muppet Show, which features J.P. Morgan. Now for those of you who are not familiar with J.P. Morgan, she is known as a singer and an actress. Uh, during the 60s and the 50s, uh, she provided many different singles and many different albums, and by the 70s, she focused a lot more on her acting side. And uh, even like later on, like it would continue in the 90s and in the 2000s, where she would appear on movies such as Loose Shoes, Night Patrol, Home Alone 2, uh, Lost in New York, and Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. And this is on top of many appearances in many different TV shows. But on top of that, she is mostly well known for being uh, one of the regular panelists for The Gong Show during the late 70s. And may I say, my god, in the episode that she appeared in The Muppet Show, never have I seen an episode that's been this crazy. And that's really saying a lot for The Muppet Show. Usually, their standards is just wacky and like over the top and stuff like that, but they've never been into this territory. Now, the one thing that I will say, uh, let me just take a moment to go into the general humor of the Muppets. Some could argue that the style of humor that the Muppets is going with, it could be very reminiscent to the cartoons of Tex Avery, where a lot of it is explosions, breaking the fourth wall, and basically going completely over the top and have a very broad sense of humor that's just like very big and really out there in each episode and in each gag that they go with, considering that this is just puppets or muppets, um, like this, like even more than the sky is basically the limit here. But in this one, they really prominently feature explosions and really just um, over the top humor. Like they really crank that up to a level uh, 11 more so than usual i already mentioned before at the very beginning of this how uh like the episode just starts off like before the intro would come in that jp morgan would just hand over a bomb to scooter and just explode everything but more than ever in this episode like i didn't necessarily count it how many explosions there were but Wow, that, like, there were just a ton, and, like, Crazy Harry would come in, and, of course, he would do his traditional explosions, but just, like, bombs were distributed everywhere. They were handed to each character like it was freaking candy. Um, like, if I would take a guess on how many explosions there were specifically, maybe there were, like, six or seven, or... Or actually, maybe, like, the most explosions that there were was in the talk spot, where Kermit would discuss with J.P. Morgan about, like, how he could easily travel just by exploding, and that alone has, like, a dozen explosions, so maybe there are, like, around 20 explosions in this episode. But it's crazy, it's definitely a lot of fun, and the jokes that they provided are fantastic. And even with J.P. Morgan, what's actually very interesting is that this episode in general is all about J.P. Morgan. It's completely dedicated to her, where she's one of the very rare guests that's not really enjoying her time here, considering that apparently she's not a fan of cuteness. And I gotta say that the first, like, the opening number that she was in, it was so weird. You see her completely dressed up as, like, this giant bird, and she's behind a green screen, and, like, we just see her flapping. It's just, like, that's one of the last things that you would expect to see a special guest do. I, I don't know, like, just... Like, you suddenly see, like, an actress just dressed up completely as a bird just flying around. That is just, like completely unusual like that that's just completely up there uh, like completely out there and even for muppet standards and like i understand like the the song is tweet uh tweetily tweetily d but still it's just it, it, it's, it's like it's one of those things that I, I would have to put it as one of the weirdest and like most over the top moment with a special guest star it really is crazy but 
with JP Morgan, um, all, like throughout the whole time, she's not really having a good time, and often she would end up being the victim of many of the jokes in the Muppets. Uh, rather it be like suddenly Animal would come in and gr and the greet in his own way to JP Morgan, or she would be handed a couple of bombs actually. And you know the one weird thing is that even during the talk spot, even though they didn't mention it, like uh, she ha she actually had a gag where she actually wore a hat. And then suddenly, like, you know, like, it, it was a special hat she brought into the Muppet Show, and, like, suddenly the, like, the top just blew up. And, like, even afterwards, you see, like, it, it got caught on fire, and it's like, uh, is somebody gonna handle that or something? Especially with the other sketches, uh, like, they were all fantastic, and, uh, the humor was really put to the max, and they're all highly enjoyable. Uh, rather they be with the Swedish chef, or uh, there's like one little moment with Gonzo where um, him and Rolf are doing the flight of the bumblebee and there is actually a little bee around and then like Animal tries to stop the bee. Uh, and then afterwards there was also Pigs in Space which is honestly one of the funniest that I've seen so far. That one is actually fantastic. And then there was also a news flash and Sam's commentary that is also great. And, um, other than that, uh, what else is there? Oh, there's also, uh, At The Dance, which, uh, I'm honestly not really a big fan of At The Dance, but this one is actually kind of funny, but, I don't know, I feel a bit mixed about it, because, um, it felt like they were saying the same joke over and over again, where they say, like, like, you know what your problem is, da 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 like, they were doing that all the time, it's like, at, like, for some reason, like, during this dance recital, everybody has to confess about their, like, their, like, their dance partner's problems for some reason. Other than that, if there is one moment that is pretty calm, or actually, there are a few moments that isn't, like, extremely over the top, it, it isn't extremely crazy, it isn't filled with explosions, like, there are a few of those moments. Uh, one of which is actually the closing number where, um, like, it's pretty much your standard regular musical number with a special guest where you got J.P. Morgan and the Electric Mayhem where she would sing right next to Dr. Teeth. That is standard, that is fine, like, as it is, it's a pretty good number. And then there is another one where, like, it's also calm where you got, uh, Floyd just playing the bass and Nigel, for those of you who don't know, Nigel is actually the conductor you would see. Uh, like in the th like in the music box in the bottom uh, like you, you see him all the time in the credits like with the with the little baton so he's actually there just whistling uh, is there a specific song that they've done okay no 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 uh, no like they're just doing like Floyd is in the bass Nigel is just whistling and that's pretty much their little musical number but there is one weird thing that I don't know if this is me this is the DVD or maybe this is the episode in general but I am honestly surprised for the first time ever, I'm seeing that they actually redid an entire sketch. No, not, not just redid, they actually rerun another sketch. This is something that I've already seen before where uh, they're like, I, I forgot which episode specifically they put it on, but it was Rolf playing the piano and then Fozzie Bear just joins in and they were both playing like this little duet on the piano going like I, I forgot which episode it was on like if anybody could help me in the comment section specify like I know I mentioned this in a previous uh, Muppet vlog episode but yeah like they pretty much re-aired that like, note by note, like, this is honestly kind of weird, and honestly, I don't know if it's because it's the episode itself, I don't know if it's because it's this DVD specifically, I don't know if it's just me, but they decide, like, I don't know if, like, they re-aired it at the same time, which honestly got me a little bit confused, and maybe I have to do a little bit more research onto that, but yeah, like, my initial reaction when I saw that was like, they're, they're re-airing this again, like, I, I don't know, this is the first time that I saw that uh, they're playing, a, like, the same sketch in a different episode. I thought it was kind of weird. So, overall, like, holy crap, this is one of the craziest episodes that I've ever seen, and it is glorious. It's a lot of fun. 
it really cranks up the humor of the Muppets up to Tex Avery levels, which is a lot of fun. It is fantastic. And even a lot of the, uh, at, like, a lot of the sketches in between, like, even if it doesn't relate to J.P. Morgan, they're honestly fantastic in their own right. So, I would say that this is probably one of the funniest episodes of The Muppet Show that I've ever seen. Like, I've honestly never had such a good laugh in a Muppet Show episode in a long time, and I highly recommend that you guys definitely go check it out. Like, this is the kind of episode you don't check it out for the special guest star, like, because you know who this special guest star is. It's not like uh, in the levels of Elton John, but... This is the kind that you gotta see it because, like, my god, they really went out there with the comedy, and it's beautiful. So anyways, that is pretty much it for this episode of The Muppet Flock, so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see next time how much more will they push the levels of comedy uh, with the next episode. So, until next time, see you later, dudes!